this is a very quick look at the KNF Concept Professional Portable Camera Tripod. This is a compact little tripod that folds over itself for easy portability. And to help with that, it does come with a little carry case and a carry strap. When compacted down, it's about 41 centimeters, and it comes with a little manual just to show you how to unscrew it all. To set this up, you can see it's quite tiny to start with, and you unfold these legs, and then they're locked down. You have to unlock them when you want to fold it back up, and then it pretty much expands like a traditional tripod would with the expanding poles. And once you're done, you are ready to take photos or video. You can expand that head a little bit further up if it's not quite right. It does have a spirit level on it, but it's in a location that means the camera quite easily covers it. So you're gonna have to use that quick release plate if you do wanna check the spirit level. You can hang up to eight kilograms on a weight at the bottom. And the top section is a rotating ball head and I found this to be really good for photos, but not always that great for videos. So you can get a really great shot. Once you've got your tripod set up, you can get the camera pointing exactly where you want it to. That rotates right the way around and you can lock it into place. I'm using a Nikon DSLR on the video here, but you can use any camera that's got a standard tripod thread mount at the bottom. When you're done taking photos or shooting your video, the tripod does compact down I haven't found it to be any more compact than a standard tripod though, so here's a, another low-cost tripod that I've previously reviewed. You can see it's about the same kind of dimensions when compacted down, but this one is made of better materials, and it does allow you to easily put the camera upside down, which is great for any macro shots that you might be working on. So overall, I think this is a pretty decent tripod. The ball head, I think, suits photographers better than those taking video. I prefer the more traditional head for taking video. It gives a slightly better control when I want to do panning shots and things like that. But if you are into your photographs, then this is definitely a tripod worth considering. Full range of movement, lots of options, and it's nice and compact. If you're interested in learning more about this, I will put a link in the description below. I hope you found this short review useful. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.